All right, you have arrived. The first thing I like to do is check my distance and make sure there's plenty of space. In this case, there's plenty of space, but you usually have a post right here with your electric and water source. So make sure the, the slide out won't hit that. Next step is to come to this cabinet, which is just left of the door. And you're gonna get out some of these leveling blocks. Now this is unique to our RV. You're gonna slide this to where the bottom step will land on it and slide as it comes down. This makes it to where you get more stability on that bottom step because there's some movement there. So please put the blocks in. Next step is to come in directly to the control panel. And if you're on hookups, we're gonna do this everything as if you're on hookups. So you don't need your water pump because the pressure from the water source acts like city water. You'll want electric water heater and then your slide out is here. To go out, you press in. And then to pull back in, you press towards as if you're going out. Now, in this case, we have a full battery. We don't have much in fresh. Black says three quarters, but I think we're tilted a little here. So um, it is barely full at this point. And gray, same deal. This up here is an inverter. So if you were not on power and you needed somewhere to charge your phone, you press this and then you walk over here and that allows these outlets back here to work. While we're in here, this is your control for your air conditioning and heat, which you'll see above us. Your next move will be to come over to this compartment, which has your power supply. This is for a standard like extension cord. So you're gonna take that off and you're gonna use this main connection for a 30 amp only, not 50. 30 amp only, you'll connect to what will be your power supply here. And then you'll come to this cabinet. We have gloves for you to use. You'll get your sewer line and you'll see at the bottom there is a plexi style base. You want that to go into the compartment and this part right here is what connects to this. So you will take this off and connect that on there. Once you've done so, you're gonna to continue to remain closed on your black tank, but you will open your gray tank, which is gonna continually flow all the water and liquids except for solids from the septic. So leave that closed when you're done or when you're full on your black, then you'll come out and you'll pop open the black, which is this connection right here. Next stop is your water compartment, which this is the shower. It's self-explanatory. This is your water compartment. You're gonna use the straight key. The L key is only used for the front door. You're gonna pop this open. In this case, you will be connected. You're gonna connect to your city water hose, which the hose is right here. The blue is your hose. Come back over here, you're connected. You have water on and you want city water, which is boom, 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 boom. Okay. If you were not connected to hookups, you'd go normal. So then you'd go boom, 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 boom. And that's already set. So I'm assuming you're going to be on city water. Please lock when you're done in that section. We also have storage compartments. Obviously this is mainly for utility, so septic and your water. There's also a riser here for the septic. And then the other side of it, this goes straight through. And so there's some extra water. There's there are chairs in here and also like a um, high chair style deal. As, and there's bocce ball. And in case you need a piece of wood, it's here more storage here this is where the barbecue is um, that connects to this piece here there's a bracket in here um, and that's if you need help with that it's you connect to this piece right here um, again questions feel free to call or text us to help you get that set up there's a hatchet here and that's about all you need in that section more storage here this is also where the batteries are located 
but there's more storage for extra luggage or anything else you might need, plus a few leveling blocks um, in case you're on a, an unlevel site. This is the propane compartment right next mm -hmm. to the steps. And right now we're at full. Entertainment center. So there's a CD and some power. Um, I've only used the radio in this case. I prefer to use the music in the main compartment because with this, you can use the USB port to use music from your phone, iPad, whatever else you have for electronics there. And this is the speakers on the ceiling. The black speakers go all the way back and it creates the best sound in the whole unit. One other important side note is if you are in a situation where um, you've left headlights on or left the radio on overnight and you couldn't start the engine using the cab battery, you hold down this auxiliary start and it pulls the juice from the batteries that were in that compartment over there. Also while we're in this area, please make sure when you're parked to press down the parking brake to protect the transmission. One other important piece is this area up here will get smothered by bugs in summertime in the Northwest. Um, we just ask that you'll get them generally cleaned off by using either a gas station um, wash. It does not have to be a detailed job. Just get the stuff that's caked on there off so that it's easier to get off and doesn't stain the front of the RV. And that goes for the same in this area. If there's anything caked on there that can get scraped off at the gas station, please do so. Next important topic is toilet paper usage. We only allow the use of RV and marine toilet tissue. We have three rolls here currently, and there's an extra in this space here. So if you had to buy more, please make sure it's RV safe. And it's not, not septic safe, but RV. You can see it specifically says RV. To flush the toilet, it's pretty self-explanatory. You hold down this here. And I don't have water on currently, so if you're going to go number two, you want to hold this halfway down, and when the water pump is on, it will fill that compartment with water so you're not dropping deuces onto the plastic in the toilet. Next item is your awning. So the button for the awning is located right here. And to go out, you just press this. Next item is in case of some sort of electrical difficulty, you'll pop back into the master and down below here is the breaker. So you can see everything's on. You just use that just like any typical breaker. This would be something you would use by calling me to troubleshoot an issue. In the event that you had low propane and wanted to use only electrical for your heat, again, you're hooked up using somebody else's power, there is a space heater here. I always recommend plugging it into this outlet and let it sit on top of the stove during the night. Also up in here are our patio lights if you'd like to hang those up. We have an extension cord here and or sorry a surge protector here so you can put the lights up hang them across the awning and just make sure not to shut them in the awning when you close it. In the event that you're not using hookups the generator is located right here to turn it on Turn on just that way and turn it off one tap of stop. Next item is if you are driving at night or in a tunnel, your headlights are here, boom, boom. In the event of a fire emergency, your fire extinguisher is here. We ask that through your trip, you use the broom to keep this area generally clean. That broom is currently located here. Obviously, while you're using it, you can place it wherever you'd like. Another good spot to store it is laying down in this space when nobody's using the bed or whatever else. Another important item is this skylight, for some reason, and you see right now, is open just from me driving with it. And we have not figured out the solution to this problem. So when you get to your location, you want to climb up on the roof and have somebody lower it back down, especially while we have this amazing June weather. Okay, refrigerator, I'm turning this on. I'm gonna currently put it on mode of gas. When you arrive, this is key. You wanna shift that from gas to AC, which is just mode AC. That allows it to shift over to 
power and not wasting your propane during that time. So back to gas. There's also this panel. You can see it's very self-explanatory. When you're done setting your steps and you don't want them to keep going up and down, turn them off. And then the exterior light is this exterior light right here. So that can be turned on at night. And interior lights is just typically pops on um, this main light here. Now, when you're done with your trip, typically you just look to reverse what you've done. So you're going to slide the slide out back in after sweeping. And then you'll bring your awning back in down there. Um, the big thing is heading back outside. So as I had mentioned previously, when you're using this station and you have the black handle that's behind this area, right where it says black holding tank is your handle and the gray holding tank is your gray water. In this case, you will continue to leave your gray tank going, but to empty this out, you will pull this and you'll watch the flow come out the, the clear disposal at the dump station. So the other important piece here is I would recommend um, running it until you see nothing new coming out and then have somebody else flush the toilet multiple times until you see mostly clear coming out of that gray area. And you can do YouTube videos on how to do this as well. That's how I learned. Um, so if you're not sure based on this video, I highly recommend going to YouTube and run that water until it's flushed completely. And you, <clears throat> if you're at a dump station, you would connect, you take the other hose and take it off of this and you put it on this one and that allows you to flush. But you must 100% have your handle on the black tank open, not closed. If you have it closed and you run the flush, you will send sewage through the roof of the RV and poop all over you and everybody else. So again, watch a YouTube video if you're unsure. Give us a call if you have questions. We're happy to help. Also remember, when you're done, to return the vehicle with a full tank of gas and full propane.